Now see, first is square not or if not. So see how we are going to take square not or if not. See, this is the table and this end is laptop end, which is connected to laptop and this is the phone end. Okay. Now see what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to take the first throw, right? And can you see? Now the laptop end comes in my right hand. So what I did in first throw, I crossed. Okay. And after that, what I'm going to do in the second throw, in second throw again, I'm going to cross. Clear? So now the laptop end comes into my left hand. Okay. This is the square not or if not. And if you see what happens here, can you see the both ends are together? And here also you can see the both ends are together. So this is square not or if not. So what we did in first throw, we crossed. In second throw also, we crossed. So this is relatively stable knot. So this is square not or if not. How many throws we are going to take? So this is the first throw and this is the second throw. And in each throw, we crossed. So we take two throws. Crossing is done in each throw. Crossing is done in each throw. Clear? And this is relatively stable knot. This is relatively stable knot. Okay. How to identify? It's very, very easy to identify. See, if you see the ends, can you see here? The ends are together. Can you see here? The ends are together. Right? So here, you see both ends are below and here both of these ends are above. So here you can see, if you see the ends, which is of red color, yes, that is above the blue. And here you can see the ends which are of blue color. These two ends are below the red. Clear? So if both ends are together, either above or below, this is square knot or if not. Second is surgeon's knot. Surgeon's knot is also very easy to identify. Now, this is the laptop end and this is the phone end. Okay. Now, in first throw, can you see, I'm taking the first wrap and then I'm taking the second wrap. So how many wraps are taken in first throw in surgeon's knot? Can you see? We took two wraps. Clear? And after that, in second throw, again, I'm going to cross. And how many wraps? Single. Okay. So in first throw, you can see two wraps. In second throw, one wrap. And in both throws, we are going to cross. So this is what? Surgeon's knot. So here you can see this is surgeon's knot. So there are two wraps in first throw wraps in first throw right so you can see this is one this is two two wraps and we have to cross and in second throw there is a single wrap so one wrap in second throw okay and crossing is done in each throw so in surgeon's knot crossing is done in each throw Now third is granny knot, also known as pseudo square knot. Okay, now see, this is the laptop end, this is a phone end. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take, can you see, I'm going to take here, I'm going to take the first row. And again, you can see, the phone end comes in my right hand, clear? Means I didn't cross. After that, again, I'm going to take, what? The second throw, and here also, I'm not going to cross, clear? So I didn't cross. So in this, two wraps are there, and crossing is not done. And if you're going to see the ends, see here, carefully. If you see the ends, one end is above, and one end is below, can you see here? So the ends are not together, can you see? The ends are not together. So this is granny knot or pseudo square knot. And granny knot or pseudo square knot is not a very stable knot. So this is granny knot, also known as pseudo square knot. Pseudo square knot, clear? And you saw that how many throws are there? We take two throws, clear? But crossing is not done. And since crossing is not done in any throw, so it's relatively unstable. So this is relatively unstable. And it's more prone to slip, right? It's more prone to slip. Now, how to identify? It's very easy. See, one end is above and one end is below. So both ends are not together. See the colored picture? So if you see this colored picture, you can see that this end, which is of red color, yes, one is below this blue and one is above this blue color, okay? And here you can see the end, which is of blue color, one is above and one is below. So how to remember? If these are the ends, if ends are together, either above or below, the knot is stable, and that is reef knot or square knot. And if it's like this, what one end is above and one end is below, it means it's not very stable, and this is granny knot or pseudo square knot. Now let's see all the three together, how to identify and how to differentiate. Easiest is surgeon's knot. Why? Because in first row, we are going to take how many wraps? Two wraps. So if there are two wraps in first row, then this is surgeon's knot. Now see if there is one wrap. If crossing is done, yes, it is reef knot or square knot. If crossing is not done, it is granny knot. How to identify? See the edges. If the ends are together, it's square knot or if not. If ends are not together, it's granny knot. So you can easily grab any image based question related to the knots. Now we are going to discuss the needle. First, what are the parts of the needle? And then we will discuss what are the types of needle. Okay, see the parts. You can see here the suture is being attached to the needle and this end is known as swathed end. In the needle where suture is attached, that is known. Now we are going to